Hey yo everyone, this is Vampire Q here. Now what I have here is that uh, I've got a game from a long long time ago. This is a 3v3, I believe it's a ranged team or random team, I cannot remember. Um, so what do we have is, um, since I've got this game happened so long ago, I cannot remember what exactly my intentions were, what exactly I wanted to do, and things like that. Um, I can remember a little bit, but I just decided I will cast this like I've never seen this game before. So, yep, well, alright, now on the right side, we have Team 1, which is happened to be Vampire Q, me, yours truly. Now on the top right, we have Cute Worm, who is a Protoss player, and then Vampire Q himself as a Red Terran. Now bottom right, we have Spy Kick, which is Blue Terran. And then on the opposing team, we have an orange Protoss, Johnny Bomb, a purple Protoss, Ezekiel, and yellow, Punography. Wow, what a great name, Yellow Zerg. So, I'll be interested to see what sort of pawn he will um, kick up. And we can see that the scouts for both teams are moving out with uh, Punography and Vampire Q scouting. But uh, apparently, the uh, team 2 has sent his uh, drone out much earlier so he has advantage of scouting the team number one more now let's see oh there's a gas deal and there's another scout from Ezekiel being followed around by Vampire Q to make sure that there's no cannon and oh there's a second gas deal so Vampire Q will not have gas for quite a while and here we can see that uh, Vampire Q has scouted um, and rather early pool, this looks like to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, about 9 pool, or something like that, maybe a 10 pool. Now he's off to scouting, he's killed the purple products. Now he's got a cybernetic score, one worker on one gas, that's interesting, he's still warping a second assimilator. Now, looking at things like this, I have a uh, an idea that this probably is a bronze level match but of course we wouldn't know and we shall see now Vampire Q continues scouting but it's uh, unfortunate that Johnny Bum has completely walled off uh, he walled himself off with a cannon warping in now uh, I'll expect that this worker will return home and over here while wow, we have an overlord from pornography sitting at Kid Worm's base. Now all it needs is a stalker or some marines from Vampire Q but it seems that Vampire Q is rather busy taking down these gas steals from Ezekiel and Pornography. And while we can see that this drone has been kept alive for a long time which I guess would come from the uh, multiple cancellations of uh, gas extractors. Now Vampire Q is... oh it's a little bit too late but doesn't really matter as Vampire Q is uh, coming out with more and more barracks, more and more marines, he will be able to take down all these uh, infuriating gas stealing structures. Now he has taken down the simulator, definitely will be coming, uh, continuing to take down his second gas steal from pornography. Now if you look at the tech of both players, now we can see that uh, Cute Worm is getting his second gas up, he's got his cybernetics core. He's got 3 gate and a forge, so I assume some sort of 3 gate push will be coming. And uh, for Vampire Q, it's um, 3 barracks at the moment with, oh wow, a nice quick expansion at 5.30. With his first gas coming, and oh, he's just asking for permission to get into Cube Worm Space to kill this Overlord. Now let's take a look at Blue. We have, looks like we have mass reapers on 2 factories, oh I mean 2 barracks. So far there's not much action going on except for this overlord cube and the two gas takedown over here. Now let's take a look at the opposing team. Double gas for Johnny Bomb and wow Stargate. Now we can see the reason for his wall off Stargate. Will he go Phoenixes or Void Rays? That we have to wait and see. Now for Purple it seems that he's got 4 gate at 640 and that's not really fast. It's good there. A really delayed phone gate or some sort of mistake. I do not know. Two gas. Wow, this has got four workers on gas. 
need much better work is Ezekiel, you got to trust for one over here. Now, not sure if you realize that. Swapping in more zealots. Hmm, looks like. Oh wow, looks like we have some Reaper harassment over here. Now, this is great. Let's see how much damage he can do. Seems like he's done a lot. And wow, Void Race. Another Stargate over here. Looks like the Reapers will be chilling out here. Oh no, they're going back. Void Race coming out. Save the day. Chasing uh, Spy Kicks Reaper. I assume will be all the way back to his base. Now we haven't taken a look at uh, Yellow for a long time. Wow, Spire. One base Spire with a spine crawler for defenses. Now this, um, you don't generally see one base spires in 1v1, but in team games you can get away with it because you have your teammates to survive, I mean to protect you, but if there's a huge force that comes knocking at your door, one base spire is almost suicidal. Now there is five Mutalisks on board, six, and will we see more? Seven, eight. Yes, we will see more Mutalisks, and I should keep an eye on them to see when they move out. Now let's take a look at uh, Teal again. Seems like he's got his expansion. Wall of Empire here has already expanded. He's got his uh, working on saturating his mineral line. And uh, we can see that Vampire must have scanned uh, so he can see the Mutalisks and they are on their way out. So it seems that uh, all of Team 1 has expanded and Team 2 purple is just started. Now let's see how much damage this middle list can do. Taking down one stalker, taking down second stalker. Wow, that's a nice micro from pornography. Middle list micro. Now, oh man, cute one, you gotta react faster. Pull the uh pull your workers off. Oh boy, cute one, cute one, cute one. Oh man, one probe escapes with his life after coming out from the Nexus. Let's take a count. 10 minutes. Wow, holy crap, Fleet Beacon, cute worm. What are you thinking? 2 Cybernetics Core, 3 Stargates, 3 Gate of Forge, all on one base. Oh boy, we can see that the second team, riding on this uh, successful Millilis harassment, has sent out a small, rather, rather large force, I would say, from Perp, comprising of Stalkers, Zalat Sentries, and Immortal. And let's see if Red can take. No, it doesn't seem that. Oh boy, Team One is in a lot of trouble. And uh, Middle Leaks combined with uh, Front of Assault from Pub is a huge force to reckon with. I'm not sure what Team One can do to survive from this. Now, Red has uh, loaded up into his medivac, I assume to cross this space, but he's flying into a pack of Mutalisks and one medivac goes down, he's offloading his marines in an effort to save the um, medivac and taking down one Mutalisk in the meantime. Now let's take a look over here, now we have white rays moving into blue, now what has blue got? Oh man, nothing is not even gonna come uh, orbital command. Thor is out. Thor is here, but you're walking away from the void rays. What are you doing? Void rays targeting SCBs, taking down SCBs. Oh man, you gotta react. Yes, I kick. Now oh, this is a lot of trouble for Team 1. Team 1 is in a lot of trouble. Perp taking down um cute worms base. Now we can see Spike is actually sent some force here to deal with the aggression from uh, purple and yellow. Seems like he has done a rather good job of mutalisks. Oh man, I'm having such a huge time pronouncing mutalisks. What is wrong with my tongue today? Now we have 11 mutalisks on board right now, coupled with even more stalkers, 6, 10 over here, taking down cute worm. Now he's got a probe hiding here. I'm not sure if he's waiting for a pushing time to Run away to rebuild. Oh man, please, please do not. Wow, it's lucky. He almost lost that probe right there. Now, over here, we still have the Void Race rampaging in Blue's base. Now, Vampire Q, what are you doing? Oh, there is his forces. Let's finally move out. Definitely with steam, you can see from the uh, 
fast move speed of the infantry. Now his uh, team one has um, held back this attack, this assault temporary. Well, team one has got a lot to do to recover from this deficit. Now there's another probe from cube one over here. So cube one, I guess, would have just about two probes remaining. Doesn't have any nexus at all. I bet he's reviewed. Now middle legs are going south. And what we can see here, the vampire Q is definitely trying to save Blue by killing all these void rays. Now peace has returned to Team One, but for how long we wouldn't know. Mutalisks are still on board, and we can see that there's well a mass warping of zealots from Pup, and Mutalisks are moving around the map. Now let's take a look at attack options. Baneling Ness it seems that Yellow is pretty much focused on moving his Mutalisks around and he's just spotted Wow, he decided to let the Nexus go Oh boy, all these Medivacs are in dangerous position Now for some reason Mutalisks decide to retreat so we'll leave it for now and we take a look at Purple Now this is a lot of gateways, this is 9 gateways Where's the Robo? One Robo producing Colossus and his expansion is not exactly saturated. Now Orange has taken wow carriers. He has taken uh, the high U expansion. Now we can see this. Bam! Oh boy, yellow, you made a huge mistake losing like three to four Mutalisks in the meantime. And we can see the Vampire Q is moving out with a counter push, taking down the non saturated. Expansion of yellow, not much of a huge loss there except for 300 minerals plus one drone. 350. Now we can see middle lists are flying to the right. I assume would be an attempt to pull back this force from Vampire Q here. Now, well, I must have missed something over here because it's a scan. I see force fuse, but which should I concentrate on? I think I should concentrate on this boom, Baneling hit, taking out the small portion of Vampire Q's bio. But I would say that Vampire Q is doing well here. Now we can see there's reinforcements over here. Carriers, oh no, all these siege tanks. Sitting ducks for these carriers. There's a small force of uh, stalkers moving out and sniping, intercepting the reinforcements from Vampire Q for free. Now we just take a look. And over here seems that Vampire Q has taken down the main hatchery of uh, Yellow. I wonder what's his name? Pornography. Now carriers are coming in and Vampire Q is going to react to the carriers. Seems that Vampire Q is aware of this uh, interruption to his reinforcements and he's reacted a little bit, taking down two of the stalkers. Now, carriers are coming in and Marines are steaming forward. So, you're gonna take down the carrier. Looks like there's a standoff over here. I would say the carriers are gonna win. And there goes the first carrier, second carrier going down. Seems that there's not enough Marines and Vampire Q has to retreat and Mutalisks coupled with stalkers over here at the front door of Empire Q is gonna bring trouble on him right now and all he's got is marines not very good. I would say he's gonna target fire the Mutalisks since they're more expensive but you know he cannot take any of them down. Uh, nice fire from the missile turret taking down one Mutalisk. A Thor shot bang but not enough. Bang there goes another shot. It's a nice flash. But well, it seems that Vampire Q is not in trouble. He's retreating with the majority of his forces, but these Medivacs, man, their move speed sometimes bring them to suicide. A small handful of forces, it would be enough to take down these Blink Stalkers. Not sure, but it seems that he's doing fine with the help of a Lone Thor over here. Now it seems that um, the battle has stopped and Vampire Q has stabilized. Seems like Team One is doing not too shabby. Two Thors from Spy Kick. But um, Cute Worm has just rebuilt his Nexus. Really interesting. Now, Vampire Q has taken uh, Hayu expansion down at the north side, and Pornography has just rebuilt his Hatchery. Would be interesting. I would, I would really like to have this Spire die from the lack of creep, but. Hmm. Lone Carrier from Johnny Bomb flying down south from the north. And let's take a look at Perp. Wow, all these probes sitting down here. 
has he walled himself in? I would say so. Yes, he has walled himself in. These probes cannot get out. And so now he's just on one base and Vampire Q here is intercepting the mining operations from Johnny Bomb down at the south high yield expansion. Tanks, bio medivacs, Vikings to deal must must have been built to deal with the carriers. Now this will be a huge leap for Team 1 as they have crippled yellow and Perp has crippled himself due to the lack of uh, an accessible path from for his probes to get to this expansion but it seems that the carriers are too much for Vampire Q to handle he has to retreat with everything Medivacs, Marauders, Thors and Viking he's gonna leave his tanks here maybe lack of APM to retreat all this stuff and it seems like Vampire Q here is doing the best on bases 1, 2, 3 and 4 is building now these carriers are a huge force to reckon with 5 of them it's gonna be really hard to stop given the vampire uh, the biocentric force of vampire Q and it seems like blue spy kick is, has four thor so it's thor centric and cute worm is just pretty much dead and sucking right now so we have carriers here tearing up the uh, team number one while team two has got uh, pornography rebuilding spawning pool and his spire i would say would survive and yeah just stopping it's not losing any more health, but Carrier here is racking a ton of pain. Flying commands and there's no chance. Bam, there it goes. And Johnny Bomb decides to fly due southeast. Now this is a lot of quite a bit of Viking 6, but I would say it's not enough to take these carriers down. Two, three Vikings die just like that. Wow. Now here's a huge force of Thor, Marines, Medivac and Marauders coupled with Vikings. Now we can see this huge, wow, four Vikings flying at the same time, I bet, wow, four Starports. Vampire Q must really hate carriers. Now Johnny Bomb has got his carriers parked here, easy pickings for Vikings. Snipe one carrier down, should be sniping his second and Bam, there goes the second, there goes the third, now two carriers remaining. Now these Vikings really gotta learn to kite properly. The range of carriers. Now five Vikings remaining. One last carrier step. Who will prevail? Seems that Viking prevail, three remaining. Now we can see there's a force here. Oh man, this expansion is in trouble. This expansion is trouble. blink on top of the workers and good reaction time from Vampire Q. Force Fuse trying to trap the SCVs but all escaped. So seems like it's a rather good thing for Vampire Q. And Stalkers and Sentries are ravaging this command center taking it down and it goes boom. You can see all the bits and pieces of the... Wow is that a shield? That's nice looks like a shield. Her wisely retreating, missing the wrath of Thor's and Bio couple with Vikings. Now it seems that Vampire Q is really pissed, he's going to move out. And seems like Perp has secured an expansion with a large force of stalkers and sentries. Which will prevail. I would say I will bet my money on Team 1 right now. Because Thor's they're good against uh, armored units, Bio they are just really great all round. Seems that there's nothing this thing can do. You can see that Johnny Bomb is killing his own gateway. I would say to free up his probes. Now there's four probes over here. Three, seven total. That's not doing anything. And Vampire Q has just taken down an expansion of Perp and he's now moving down south. Leaving this force head to head. Now who will win? I really do not know, carriers are really strong but it seems like Team 1 is having the edge and yes Team 1 has a huge edge wiping out this force of stalkers really easily like knife through butter. And there goes the GG, Johnny Bomb has left, pornography has called GG, GG all around. Vamp reinforcements have arrived, let's take a look at what reinforcements there is. Marines, Marauders, Thors, but 
it's not needed. So yeah, team one, wow, this looks like some long distance mining. <laughs> so team one has prevailed. That's quite a back and forth of both teams. Quite a nice match. And well, hope you guys have uh, enjoyed my cast. Not sure if I'm really casting in a professional way, but whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed and Vampire Q out.